I think there's a lot of challenges that we have with small cell lung cancer. You know, small cell, unlike non-small cell, hasn't shared in the same advances. We can't parse out small cell into molecular subsets, um, uh, unfortunately, like we can with non-small cell lung cancer. Um, we can't deliver targeted therapies the way we do for non-small cell lung cancer. Um, so I think that the strategies that we implement um, have to be innovative, and we have to learn more about tumor biology with small cell. We do know that it's addicted to transcription. Uh, we know that there may be uh, strategies for epigenetic modulation. We know there's strategies to exploit metabolic pathways in small cell. Um, so I think there's a lot of different ways to look at this. It can't be looked at in the same way through the prism of non-small cell lung cancer. We have to think a little differently about the, the uh, tumor biology. Um, I think we've made some advances with immunotherapy and with novel chemotherapies like uh, lubronectinib, but I think we've got a long way to go. And I think we're, we're, we are, we're pushing the envelope uh, with a better understanding of, of transcriptional activation of small cell and the different molecular subsets based on uh, differential uh, transcriptional activation. Uh, I think we're still, you know, still very early on in this story. I look forward to improving the outcomes or being part of the story of, of delivering some of these non-small cell lung cancer, excuse me, some of these drugs for small cell lung cancer. I think there's some reasons to be excited uh, when we look at the outlook for, for small cell lung cancer over the next few years. We've now had two studies that have shown the addition of a pdl one inhibitor to standard platinum doublet chemotherapy has improved survival. This is the first intervention that's had any impact on survival for small cell in several decades. Uh, where do we go from here? How do we uh, increase that potential impact? It really comes down to, to biomarkers uh, and dividing certain populations uh, apart. And we know that uh, small cell lung cancer is not one disease, that there's a lot of heterogeneity. And the benefit from immunotherapy is likely carried by a small subset of patients. It's now our job to identify who those patients are so we can make sure those patients receive that therapy. And for patients who aren't destined to get that long-term benefit from immunotherapy with chemotherapy to develop newer strategies. Multiple randomized trials are, are being launched now looking at, at different immunotherapy targets, different checkpoint inhibitors, uh, the incorporation of PARP inhibitors. Doing so in an empiric manner will be a great challenge. And identifying specific subsets within small cell lung cancer really is the key to, to making the large strides that we've seen in non-small cell lung cancer. And so we're excited by new standards of care. We have new exciting molecules being launched in trials now, but the next big step will really require the development of reliable and useful biomarkers for this disease.